Elf is one of my favorite Christmas movies of all time, of course, and uh, about a month and a half ago, they released a bunch of Christmas movies on 4K. I went out and picked up Elf and Christmas Vacation. I already have a review out from a few weeks ago of Christmas Vacation, but last night, I was finally able to sit down and watch this movie. It took much longer than expected, but I was finally able to do it, and I have some thoughts on the transfer here. Um, if you've picked this up, let me know down below, and I would give away the digital code but there is no digital code here but I just want to make this clear I said the same thing in my Christmas vacation video and that is that my reference to to this release is the DVD because we never had the blu-ray because I, I think we had the DVD ever since it came out because we watch this movie like as a family every single year I watched it by myself last night but still we we tend to watch this movie I watch it every year, except last year. I did not watch it last year, but I watch it most years, once, twice, maybe even three times. Hopefully only once, just so I don't get sick of it, but it, it's really hard to get sick of this movie. I really do love this movie, so there might be a little bit of bias here, but as I was saying, my reference is the DVD, so keep that in mind. I don't know what the Blu-ray looks like. I just went and watched the 4K. I didn't want to watch the movie twice to really compare them, but if this is a good Blu-ray, my suggestion for getting this 4K is get it if you're going to watch the movie every single year, but don't pay like 30 or $35, whatever full price is for this, wherever you are. I'd say wait for it to drop a little. And the only reason I say that is when the movie started, I, I really wasn't like, wow, this, this looks amazing. Even coming from the, the DVD quality, I was like, yeah, you know what? This kind of looks like a standard, like Blue, kind of in between a Blu-ray and a 4K with all the stuff in the North Pole and even with the whole like animated credits part because I said in the Christmas Vacation one which I, I do highly recommend picking that one up that as soon as like the red came on screen I was like wow like this looks great and it looks like there's a lot of care put in and and I don't know what they, they shot this movie on I know it's it's much um like closer to now so they they probably use different cameras and stuff like that but even in the north pole with all the visual effects they they can't make it like crystal clear or else they can't hide some of the stuff and i don't know if that kind of played a part into this release of being like well we can't sharpen this too much or, or we can't use this or maybe they just don't have access to it because the special effects they did were not rendered in 4k or not put out in 4k you, you know what i mean so when watching this movie in the north pole with the first 15 ish 10 15 minutes of the movie i was like oh this isn't like amazing and it really doesn't look like a, a real 4k but as soon as he gets to New York, that's when the movie kicks in and you can tell, you know, with the natural light and by using not nearly as many special effects, the 4K really does kick in and it starts to look great. So that's something that I really wanted to warn people is that when I was watching this movie last night, I was like, I, I actually checked if I was watching the 4K. I was like, did I put the Blu-ray in when I was watching all this stuff for the first 10 minutes? But then when he gets to New York and from there on, for majority of the rest of the movie, it looks really good, and and I did notice when they go back to the North Pole at the end. Spoilers, not really. It's it's Elf. Come on, you've all seen it. Um, just said like the the very end scenes, the quality does drop a bit, and my assumption is that's just the the special effects that they did. They didn't render them in 4K because I bet the technology back then wasn't done properly. Um, you know, it, it's not like um a million like 30 million dollar movie or something like that. So it's different, but. As a transfer overall, I do recommend it. I think that, you know, it really makes the characters pop and all the elf costumes and stuff are nice. But again, when all, all the big contrast and all the, the bright, colorful stuff is there, it's not like blowing your mind away like some other movies. But when they're in New York, for which is where majority of the movie takes place, it does look very good. But even in a lower light scene like the mailroom scene, the characters do contrast very well in the colors and the sound is also really great. Again, as I said in the Christmas Vacation one, I'm not like a huge sound person for stuff like this. I'm, I'm definitely more of a picture person because I don't have, I don't even have a sound bar. Like I don't have surround sound or anything. It's just straight from the TV, but it's loud what it needs to be all the voices are very clear i would recommend picking this up if it's one of those that you watch every single year but i wouldn't suggest paying 30 35 whatever it is there i do really like this cover though it's one of those that i i bet was 
kind of made and then shelved. I haven't seen it before. I really like it. But if you have picked this one up, let me know what you think of it. Was it a different experience for you? Did you not like it? Did you love it? How does it compare to the other Christmas movies? I, I like Christmas Vacation more as a movie and the transfer I found was much better. But still, majority of this movie's in New York. Majority of it looks very good. And it's one of those movies, that, I mean, it's a Christmas comedy, so you don't need to see it in the perfect, you know, crystal clear. It's just nice to have. But thank you all for watching. I will see you guys next time. Over and out.